What do you think my new jacket is? I like it. You like it? Yeah, dude, it's the programmer style, bro. I woke up at 7.30. So I didn't even have time to do push-ups or anything, bro. And then I get a call while I'm brushing my teeth from the fucking, and they're like, oh, I can't, you know, like, I can't come up. And I'm like, okay. And then they're like, can you just take, like, deliver them to the daycare center? I'm like, no problem. And like, things happen like that, you know what I mean? Unexpected shit all the time. You know what, just roll with the punches, bro. You know what I mean? Because if I get hung up, I get upset, and I'm like, no, dude, you know what? My kid's not going to daycare today. I'm just going to keep him at home. Just uh, roll with the punches. Plans change. Things get added to sprint. You know what I mean? Things change, bro. But, you know, at a company, what you got to know is you, no matter what happens, right? In programming, say a company ends or something, the programmer's pretty much the one that comes out with the most, right? Yeah. You come out with learning more, the most skills. Uh, like, I always talk about your little treasure chest. I'm sure you, you write, like, some cool-ass functions there. You know, yeah. the programmer is the one that comes out like, uh, you know, more skilled, more honed. And uh, I think Minnie and I were talking about it yesterday, right? God damn it, bro. This car is going to come now. Holy shit, bro. A few minutes later. Just roll with the punches, bro. Yeah, I think I say bro too much. Dude. I'm not even like young anymore. Roll with the punches, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the punches, B Sigma. And even like yesterday, Minnie and I were talking on the phone. And it was like, dude, AI is replacing everything. Lawyers, you know, a judge. We should be happy like our profession or uh, coders or whatever, like attacked first, you know, from AI. We're not dumb, you know. We'll make our own defenses. We'll make sure, you know. And AI is going to create a whole bunch of other jobs. I mean, was prompt engineer even a job? Like three years ago, you know? Yeah. <sighs> Roll with the punches. You never know what the weather's gonna be tomorrow. That's right. You might think it's something, but all of a sudden it fucking snows. Dude, out, of nowhere, out of nowhere. Dude, I told you, I was like, dude, it's fucking snowing hard, bro. Yeah. <sighs> fucking everyone loves babies. Yeah. Especially Korea, like the fucking birth rate's so down. Yeah. Fucking, it's, so it's like a mythical, it's like rare. Like, not super, it's not mythic or super rare, but I think it's rare, you know? It's the fucking, it's not like the holographic Charizard. Exactly. It might be like just the holographic Arduino. That's not even fucking Pokemon, bro. Arduino. What's the ice bird's name? Articuno. Oh, Articuno, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, dude. Dude, when he discovers anything, I'm going to try to get into it too. <laughs> But I think I'll get it all wrong and I'll embarrass him. Like, you don't know Hitmonchop? <laughs> all right, bro. Stay here, okay? Are you coming in? Sure. All right. I know it's how China wants to Ow! Sorry. Uh, it hurts my heart every time when I see him say bye, you know? Let's get started. I feel like if I uh, like lost in the blizzard, a helicopter, they would fucking see the fuck out of me. <laughs> <laughs> so, my name is Phil. I became a senior developer after the age of 30. If you have any idea about what AI is going to do in the future, please leave it in the comments. I'll respond. We'll get a conversation started. Like, comment, or share. Uh, it really helps the algorithm and gets us pushed out. And um, if I can do it, you can do it too. Coding saves lives. Uh, hey, Minnie. I'm going to code for 30 more minutes. Sure. And then we're gonna get, I'm, I'm gonna just gonna put Jocelyn on the right path. Yep. And I'm gonna ask her to finish. I got it. Oh, snap. All right. All right. All right. Oh. Can you say something about uh, less social mm. progress? We're still setting it up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're trying to, you know, a lot of the code, I think, is like these um, 
code architecture kind of like things you mm -hmm. know like the code setting up to like make it as comfortable as possible to work on mm -hmm. and i feel like the more work you do in the beginning the less work you do later mm -hmm. up how everything works like async storage and things like that and next we have to work on storybook uh ui and make this like component showcase cool for our building blocks are my lips really shiny because i put a bunch of car metal on there you good <laughs> okay yeah. um basically when, when we have everything built I used to love playing with Legos when I was growing up. And you just put the Legos together and then you have everything streamlined so you don't have to code like that much. And there should be like a pattern that everyone has to follow mm -hmm. instead of like a random pattern here, a random pattern here, you know? Yeah. Hey. Hello, everyone. Hey, I sent the Zoom link. Can you guys send, come in there? I think it's a, it's a little bit easier. Gabe, long time to see, dude. <laughs> yeah. What's up, everyone? Um, Hello. When Jocelyn's here, we haven't seen her in a long time. Miss you guys. I don't know. I'm not. No, no, no. Um, yeah, I think. Uh, Booty, have you tried building it by chance? The build worked for me. Oh, yeah. For both iOS and Android. Okay, awesome. I just don't know where it is on my computer right now. So there's like a big issue. I think it was just the documentation and I think I missed something in the documentation. So my bad, my fault. Um, I just need to, uh, now we need to start working on the app because everything's working and there's uh, some server stuff that we need to work on. Anyone know where which way they want to go? Uh, meaning like which parts you want to work on? I prefer backend, but I don't mind doing both. Justin, I think you're the most experienced at the um, backend. My opinion, login screen. I think we have to recheck that one, to be honest, because we have to add form validation and all that kind of stuff. Set up React Native Logger. Oh, got, got a little bit better, Trello. Uh, React Native Logger is done. Good job, Booty. Amazing. This is ready for QA, so as much as we can, like, why is it so laggy? All right, that's it, dude. I got to go get a new computer today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we got to follow some kind of design but can you guys just like not care about design whatsoever for now and work about work, think about functionality? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think I init yeah. I init the backend server. Let's that's ready for QA. Uh, did anybody research into React Admin? I think Jocelyn and I will work on this one, but it's in this stage. So we finished the on/off state change stuff. Young, you said you were gonna do async storage, no? Yeah. Can you check? Can you try to get that done? It's like local storage, but for a phone. Um, okay. And Gabe, can you work on a forgot password screen? Just a, just a, it's just a screen with one, um, one input. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And I think you've done it before, so I think it, it's, uh, it's, it should be easy. That too, and I think that if the back end is working, uh, one thing that you, I can ask you to work on is on the admin panel, because I think you're pretty good at React and React Web, right? Yeah. So uh, like we're gonna need to create like a login page for the admin um, and basically like a dashboard, right? And I kind of want to try this React Admin uh, NPM package out. Um, can you research into this React Admin, please? I, if I if, if the build does not work, but if the build does work for you and everything is clean, I'm gonna pull you into the, uh, into the uh, mobile side. From there, we need the forgot password so that's you, Gabe, and then um, and then the don't have an account sign up. We gotta work on this stuff. Um, I guess this is a little bit done to this point, but uh, can you just make sure it signs up? Like when you press sign up, and then it creates it creates a user inside of the Firebase Firebase console, right? Uh, it should it, you should be using that method sign in with user uh, whatever user with email and password. And then uh, the user should come into the authentication panel right here, right? For the sign-up form, yeah. a little bit part of it is uh, you have to work on React hook form, hook form, and uh, React and and uh, form validation. Can you look into this, please? Okay. Um, we have a video on it. Um, oh, it's not ready for QA. I'm gonna put you on this, okay? I think uh, it's not too hard. I, I, it's, not, it's not a bug. It's a front end thing. Uh, song, this is yours. And then Gabe, this is yours. And then um, 
Jocelyn and I will uh, kind of work on the um, API docs. Is, okay. that, is that cool? I can work with Gabe um, for the Firebase Aug, because I did it for Fizzme. Okay, okay, and I think uh, Gabe is pretty good at it too. Like, I think it's a good thing. Like, you guys can both do it. And we're using authentication with, um, let me put myself in here. I think everyone knows what to do. And let's just keep it, let's keep this meeting short. Does that make sense? So this, yeah, so this is like the beauty of encapsulation, right? Exactly. So like the main method that yeah. you use in other files is going to be the same, but the inner workings are going to be different because you use a different library. Exactly. So it's like kind of like creating your layer of that library. So then, oh, okay. yeah. So then um, later on, you can just like rip things out and put them back in and stuff like that. So I like to put all my, um, like, let's say user email, right? And I like to use hyphens, to be honest, like this. Let's... Would that work? Hold on. And then in config, let's say I get take the phone storage and then I say, um, and then maybe I can say store user email, right? And then I take I take some kind of uh, email, which is a string, right? And then I can do uh, try catch, and I can do this and I can handle, or handle some error later. This is too much code though, phone, this dot, and then we need phone storage dot, storage keys dot user email. Store email. I like Zustin a lot more recently. There's no like um there's no wrapper for it and stuff like that. Uh like uh with Redux you have to you have to wrap your whole code in a provider. And like if you wrap something and then Redux something changes, your whole app kind of re-renders. But Zustin, I don't know, it does some magic in the background that it doesn't like one really big problem with like React is it reacts to everything and re-renders on everything. So like um, things like React took form and Zustan kind of help those issues. So I maybe we can kind of um, use this or recoil is a new one that people use. <clears throat> you would you're probably wondering like, hey, how do I get that value from another screen or something like that? So in the background of the app, like let's say you have this like um, this bank or this store that you can pull values from wherever you are in the code or wherever what whatever component you are in. So that's what oh, global, global okay. state management is, right? It's kind of like a bank that is universally used throughout your app, but use state is like a locally used piece of state in that file, right? Sure. But you, you know, you maybe like a profile, you don't need to set the state inside of every single screen, but because the profile does not change and it can be shared everywhere, right? So that is kind of what um, global state management is. Oh, I've been coding a lot recently. All right. Um, and then now I'll go to uh, get check out development. And now because it's merged, I can run git pull. And everything is pulled. And uh, can you guys diverge from development branch now? Okay, so you're coding at night now? Yeah, I'm coding at night. So if you want to join too, you can like, join. I'm at I'm uh, like nine, around nine thirty after I put my kid to sleep. What time is it over there?